my summary is yes, the Earth is expanding. I hope <laughs> you can appreciate that. I apologise for the muck up in that uh, those video animations. I'm really disappointed in that, as I said before, it worked fine when we tested it there. Um, all of this is now available in, in book format. There's um, an e-book on uh, www.oneoffpublishing.com and our hard copy book is, uh, is printed. It's supposedly in transit and it's, it's being distributed through um, most of the university bookstores. Um, if you're generally interested in, in, in purchasing uh, a copy, see the lovely Anita there and uh, she'll take your details and, um, and certainly forward you a, a copy in due course. I would have liked to have shown this as a finale while I answer questions. We'll just see if it works. Yes, plate tectonics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Give him a big hand. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, James. Um, we may just leave that up and, and let it run for a while and for people that want to have a look at it. James will be out there to answer any questions. Are you going to have any of those animations on your website, do you think, as a lower res and GIF animation? It's something to consider because they're very descriptive. What I, what I if you're genuinely interested, just contact me and I'll send you a CD. Right. Yeah, he's saying if you're genuinely interested, contact him and he'll send you a CD. And I, I really think it's the most interesting. Give him another clap. That was pretty, pretty stressful to go through. And thank you for your patience too. Just before we all go, we're, we're about to break for lunch, so anybody who's absolutely starving, feel free to dash out. But I just wanted to point out one very interesting little piece of information. Um, you recall he mentioned the continent of Antarctica started off in equatorial regions or a little bit higher in between what's now Europe and, and the Americas. And I know there are a lot of researchers who believe that there was once a continental landmass in between Europe, Africa and, the, and what we call the Americas today, which is not there. We know that from cultural things. A lot of people here in the audience are uh, probably aware of the, the legendary continent of Atlantis. Well, there is more than one researcher out there who, is, who have a very good case to suggest that that continental landmass is now what we call Antarctic. There's one guy there, Rand Flemath, who's got a whole book based on Atlantis being where Antarctica is now. So it's um, a, lot of, a lot of interesting school for, uh, things for thinking about there.